Today, if you look about kids, they are always online. We, are, we used to connect to the internet to search things out. They are there all the time. They don't know any other world than this world. And when we talk about kids and we talk about computers, we spend the whole morning, I think, about the content, about the content that is out there, about the content that they're seeing and about the content that is what's right for them, what's wrong for them. However, given the open nature of the internet, we cannot prevent from people to upload and post those kind of content. We can work with the search engines to make it a little bit more harder to discover. We can work with the ISPs to filter the traffic on the big pipes that they're bringing to our home with the internet. However, it's very important to work with our kids and educate them about those kind of threats. However, today I want to talk about a different issue, about something that is different than this. This is definitely important and we should continue to do that. However, we as a technology company, seeing something that is coming, seeing a different behavior that is happening, and would like to make sure everyone understand what is happening there. In the panel before, my colleague, Stoney, commented on the right to be forgotten. And I said, before we are talking about the right to be forgotten, let's first understand what is the type of data that is going out there. Because if you think about the internet today, all of the content that is on the internet is people sitting in front of a computer, writing a text, you know, taking a picture and posting it. The type of content the internet is gonna, or gonna include in the future will come from devices that automatically create the content, automatically we're gonna put them online. And this is what I would like to talk about. Our future, our kids' future, is going to be very different in the way that we are using the internet. It's going to be very different in the way how content is being created. That's going to be their reality. We in AVG almost every quarter release our digital diary and we provide information about children, about their life. And about 18 months ago, we released a report that shows that one out of three unborn kids already have a digital footprint. And one out of three already got his picture online when he was born. So your kid's footprint is created even before they were born. And where is this data? It's out there in those social networks. It's accessible for everyone. But as they were born, and as we have the babies at home, for all of you with uh, little uh, babies you know very well, the last thing you want to do when they get sick is to wake them up at night just to measure their body temperature. It's not fun. I know it myself. It's not fun. So you will appreciate new technology that you can put the smart band on the leg of the baby and it will just tell you when the body temperature is going up. So you don't need to wake them up anymore. Actually, you can sleep, the baby can sleep, and you'll wake up only when it's needed. It will tell you that on the smartphone and send you an alert. Awesome, right? I mean, every parent wants to do that. It's just a nightmare to wait a, a, a baby in the middle of the night to measure temperature. But wait a minute. Where is this data going? Yeah, it's great to see it on the phone, but did you ask yourself where this sensor is sending the data first? Where are they stored? Who is using this data? Did you agree to that? Did you read the privacy policy of this device? Probably not. As they're growing up, we're seeing more and more parents buying those cameras. You want to watch the kids, of course. It's the most important things you have in life. You want to watch them when they're playing. You want to watch them when they're sleeping. And this is not a camera to make a conference call. This is a camera that constantly taking a video from your living room or for the kids' uh, room and broadcast it to the internet. Let me share with you my own experience. I do have a camera like this in my home. And as I'm traveling a lot around the world, I want to watch my kids as they're playing. However, one day I decided to look how this data from this camera is going to the internet. What I was amazed to find, it wasn't encrypted. Live stream from my very personal life will actually stream on the internet. Everyone can watch it. I didn't know. I bought a camera from reliable, it's not this camera, but a reliable brand. I thought they at least thought about it. 
And it was not. The stream was there. And where the stream is stored? In which country? Under which law? And do you agree that this data will be available for others? It's another interesting thing. And they're back home from the activity, sitting in front of the smart TV. It's not just a TV. It's a smart one. Why it's smart? Because you can connect to the internet. Why it's smart? Because you can have application of that. You can watch the videos. You can use those applications. And what these applications are doing? They are collecting data about you. There is a camera on the television. I don't know if you're familiar with the case. It was last year, one of the models in Samsung, they had a camera on the TV. And that camera was connected to the internet. But there was a vulnerability. And everyone could connect to that camera and look directly in the face of your kids as they're watching uh, those videos. The ones that your kids are wearing, the ones that are monitoring your home, the ones that monitoring your health, all of this information is coming together into one big lake, the big data lake. Many kids think that when they go online, Facebook was always there. Google was always there. It's part of the internet. It's free. I don't need to pay for this. Did you ever ask yourself why Google is free? Did you ever ask yourself why Facebook is free? Because of this. They are in the business of data. They are in the business, and many other. I'm just using them as an example. Many of the companies are around this kind of a business because this is a huge business, and it's going to continue to grow. They are OK. They're following the law. They're making this accessible and available. But we as consumers, do we have time to read it? Do we understand what to do with this? We at AVG providing free tools. And don't worry, we're not making money because it's free. We really give it for free. We call, for example, a product called Privacy Fix. We want to help. You can use it yourself. You can recommend it to your kids. You can recommend it to the children in your school. It will scan the setting of your Facebook. It will scan the setting of your Google. It will scan the setting of other networks. And in a very simple word, present to you, when you are sharing information, what does it mean? Can Google index it? Can the rest of the world see it? Can your image now be accessible and tagged by others? And give you the choice to decide if this is OK or not. And with a single click on the bottom, you can stop it. Because if you will go to the Facebook page and look where are all those checkboxes, or if you go to this uh, you know, camera that I show you and try to find where to stop sharing my data, you'll find it very, very hard. It was made to be hard because their business is a data business. And they won't make money from getting all those kind of data. So if you don't want to be surprised, that a retailer will target you because, or target your kids because they know more about the kids than you. But if you don't want that, the pharmaceutical company will start to send you something and you'll ask, why do I need that? To find out that your kid's having a problem. You need to start to have a control about the data that these devices are broadcasting. You need to aw be aware that when you bring another connected device into your life, this is what's happening behind the scene. Let us control it. Give us the choice to decide if this is what we want and if it's not. And if we decide to stop using the device, we can delete this data. So it will not stay there forever and then be shared or sold or used for other purposes. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time coming here.